Hello boys and girls and welcome back to a video. It's been a while. It's been a little while because I've been um, busy and I've also forgotten. I, the video, the strangers react to intelligence video that actually was ready like a week ago um, from its release or two weeks. I don't know. So yeah, it's been a little while. I keep forgetting. But yeah, today, um, actually before we get in, I'm just, I'm going to play football later. That's why I'm wearing this. I'm not, I don't just wear this indoors like a psycho <laughs> um but some people might it keeps you warm so you know i'm actually not one to judge but um today i'm going to be talking about when i went to london to try out a couple tiktok food places that um i wanted to try out because you go on tiktok you see everyone bang on about how the food in london uh, from some places is amazing it's top tier it's amazing it's god it's godly so initially i was going to go by myself but um Aiden and my friend Ellis joined me so that was nice I'm just gonna play the videos and watch them and then I'm gonna talk about what you've seen Hello Please ensure you are traveling to the correct part of the Yeah, so yeah, okay, here we are. So yeah, the first place we went to was Egg Slut. I've heard people say how the burgers there are amazing on TikTok, all of that. Um, it was tucked away, you know, it was, just, it was I, I thought it'd be bigger, but it was actually quite like a, a, um, a small, I don't know how to say, I don't want to say small, but I expected like a, like a bigger, bigger shop. Yeah. So yeah, we got the burgers. I think I got a egg, bacon, and something else sandwich. I don't know. I'll put a, pic I'll put a picture up of what I got. I can't remember the full title. I mean, Aiden got a cheeseburger, I think. And yeah, egg slut. As you can tell, all the burgers have eggs in them. I can't lie. Like, look, I'm, I'm looking at Aiden's burger. It looks peng. The cheese looks like an orange. Look. What do you yeah. think? I feel like veins. Um, so actually, bang. Um, I'd say 8.5 out of 10. All right. The food was paying. I'm not gonna lie. Do you know what is outrageous though? Do you know what is actually outrageous? I'm sorry. I don't know why I expected, but it's eight. It was like nine pound a burger. No sides, no drink. I was, and no napkins as well. They have to fix that. Excellent. What is that? What? No napkins. Not at the minimum. Ellis pointed that out actually because we were eating the egg. Once you bite into the egg, obviously it's runny, so it gets a little bit like messy. No napkins. Like, I, I'm not. I don't know if I sound spoiled right now or, or a little bit, <laughs> but like I was just a bit like, nah. For the price, for nine pound a burger, five, nine pound, like more than nine pound, you would expect more. So yeah, that was a little bit shit. I'll be honest. The food though, the food. The burger was nice. The burger was very nice. It was, uh, I think, sausage, bacon, and egg. Mm. What do you think? That's just quite nice. Would you scran or scrap? Oh my god. Scran. <laughs> I didn't rec we didn't record I didn't let them I didn't have them recording me a lot because like we're out we're eating I don't want my friend to just hold me just <laughs> record me eating a burger the whole time I thought it'd be a bit awkward as well so I had a couple bites put the camera down whatever but yeah the initial it was nice it was a nice burger you know if this was like five pounds with sides and a drink or six pounds even or seven pounds actually no if it was nine pounds with a side and a drink most likely I would go again, but nine pounds for just a burger is a bit shit. And the bun was nice. I'm, I'm, am I rambling right now? The bun was peng. I don't know what it's, I don't know why it was just nice. I remember the bun being nice. Next place we went to, oh my God, this place. If you like creams or Caspers and you visit London one day, just go here. Cause this is, I think cheaper. And nicer and it doesn't like give you that sickly feeling after you finished eating so the place is called hef hefafer hefafer <laughs> something like that 
donut. It's um, near Chinatown on Tottenham Court Road, as well as Eggstart, which is on near Tottenham Court Road. So they're both nearby, and I got these uh, two on TikTok. They describe them as crepes, but they're actually um, like fluffy crepes, fluffy pancakes. Sorry, but on the menu they're written as souffles. Well, but as you can see though, it looks peng. Oh my god, I'm telling you right now. If I'm ever near here again, I'm definitely going. It was six pound fifty. I'm pretty sure because I remember Ellis and Aiden. They didn't buy one because it was six pound fifty. But then. I'm pretty sure Creams and Caspers for a waffle or a crepe is more expensive. More expensive, if not just a little, just a bit under, like a pound under. <clears throat> a pound under. So, um. <laughs> uh, yeah, Gordon, Gordon. Ops, ops, ops. Yeah, I can't lie, it's just very nice. How do I zoom out? Uh, you, you got, you got, it doesn't zoom out, that one doesn't zoom out. Oh, okay. Yes, you should have got this. I can't lie, it's actually very really nice. A bit like, I, I, I didn't want it. Did you want it, Ellis? No. I didn't want it. Yeah, if you're ever in the Tottenham Court Road, visit this place. Very nice. The souffles are paying. Next up, we went to this, um, I think, oh, let me, what's it called? The Cult, the Cult Entertainment, the Cult Entertainment Megastore. This place was actually low-key, yeah. Low-key, a, li a little bit, Fucking sick, pretty fucking cool, pretty fucking cool. A little, it was just like cutting the there's two floors. The upstairs is um, like it shows figurines, all that stuff. It, it, by the way, it's comics and anime stuff like superhero, um, yeah, whatever. So the upstairs is like superhero figurines, anime figurines, all that stuff. I mean, it was kind of cool to look at. I wouldn't buy anything personally because the prices are out. Outrageous. There's like a, there was like a Thanos head for like 300 pounds. Oh my god, I can't find <laughs> I was like, I don't know who's buying that, but fair enough. Like someone who's like a really big fan will. And the end, they were like anime pop pop figurines or something like that. That I know people, I've seen people buy them, and I always thought they'd be like what five pounds, but they were actually like 11 pounds. Mm. It's there for show, I guess. I, I'd rather get like a clothing piece with like something because at least you do something with it rather than just have like a figurine that stands there kind of thing and does nothing. <laughs> it's, 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 yeah. <laughs> but yeah, then we went downstairs, and that's when you have all the books, and my god. This place, if I had money to splash, I would definitely, oh, definitely buy a few more things. Well, I say a few more things. I didn't buy anything anyway, but I'd definitely buy some stuff. You, you go downstairs and you're greeted by, well, you're not greeted by anything. It's just shelves with comics initially. Then you go to the right or you, you follow the one way system because of COVID, I think. And then they've got mangas and then you make your way around and then it's back to comics and then fiction and I think non-comic books I think I can't remember regardless it was pretty yeah it was just really cool to see I guess it was I would have if it's, like I said if I had money to spend I would definitely buy a lot more things there was this like Joker set books which like comic books like three in one three in one for 20 pounds which looked quite thick so it looked good content wise I was like oh there's a lot of story to this. It won't run out quickly. Twenty pounds is decent, I guess. Um, I was gonna buy it, but then I forgot. I couldn't find it actually. But yeah, because I've got this one here, which I got like last year in Amsterdam at this comic book place, which you know, I haven't even finished. I haven't even. I've, I've <laughs> this is guy. Okay, this is a, might sound stupid, but I wanted to like save. <laughs> I wanted to like savor each story. So I've read, I think only one story, and it goes in order from the first comic in this Joker thing is from 1942, and then it goes on to the latest one, which was in this book 2018. Yeah, so you know you can see the difference in the, uh, as, but yeah, so 1942, and then you got 19 to 2000 and 
Oh, my mic's fallen from 2018, I'd guess, so that you can see the difference. Oh my god, my mic keeps falling back, sorry. But yeah, if you did enjoy this video, drop a like, subscribe, and um, hopefully I upload more frequently again, because I do. Yeah, I've been looking to play Outlast, but I can't... I just get distracted on pro clubs. Uh, yeah. But yeah. All in all, egg slot, visit it if you want to try the burger, but don't expect to be full and expect to waste a bit of money. Um, Hefefer place, Hefefer, uh, Peng, go there. But I've already done, I've already said like and subscribe. Bye.